When you think about the desert, you picture this dry land, barren landscape, infertile soil, long roads as far as the eye can see, deadly animals, and a complete wasteland that you want nothing to do with. But life is so interesting that it continues to thrive in the middle of the driest lands and end up teaching us over and over a lesson of strength, a lesson of resilience. At the end of it all, I see the desert as this arid pearl with a lot of beauty in its core, with hidden gems for those who are willing to dig deeper and take the risks. Welcome to Arizona! Today's adventure is a celebration, a celebration of friendships, of people, why they hike. Why do I hike? Well, I'm 74 and I like hike, that's what I do. It's, it's a spiritual, emotional, uh, mental... A challenge of fear. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, a walk to one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the middle of Arizona's dry land. Welcome to Fossil Creek! <laughs> Fossil Springs waterfalls are one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the state of Arizona. There are different ways to get to these waterfalls, but today we choose to do it the hard way and the most fun way. We're taking Bob Bear Trail, formerly known as Fossil Springs Trail. So we're starting here at the Bob Bear Trailhead with our little neat little red car. We're gonna go hike, 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 all the way down to the waterfall here down by the water. And it's actually all elevation descent, and then we gotta climb all the way back up to get back to the car. It's a total of like 8.7 miles. right here at a junction for two different trails there is male trail and fossil springs trail and that's the one that we are going for as we continued on there was another junction with two different trails the dam trail and the spring trail the dam trail is the one that you would usually take to get to the bottom of the waterfall and be able to swim but before swimming we wanted to adventure a little bit and take the least traveled path and we were rewarded by a beautiful treat We've been really lucky this year. Everywhere we go, we find either apples or uh, pears. And we left our pears at home today, so it's pretty, pretty fortunate. It's really nice to see that uh, there's an apple tree here. There you go! There you go! Oh. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get, it. get, ah. get it! Punch it! Oh, you're using like a nice technique there <laughs> with the strap. <laughs> How's the apple? It's crunchy, very good. Sweet? I want, I want one. Mm, not really, but I like it because it's crunchy. Awesome. Mm. This one. This one. Woo -woo, that's the one I wanted. One more. Grab more. That's our lunch. <laughs> oh my god, he was gonna hit you on the head. <laughs> I almost hit you. Woo! 
Oh, rub down. Oh, oh my god. Rub yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, keep one, keep one. No, I wish I had more. <laughs> you can hear our friends cheering already because this is exciting. So here's the thing, on the spring trail uh, we can't really get to the bottom of the waterfall unless we cross, although it's feasible but then it's, I don't think it's the smartest thing to do because the water starts accelerating so we kind of just decided to go with whatever the team here is comfortable with and we're just gonna go a little bit further down if we can cross that's fine, if we can't we'll go to the trail junction and then just hike up to uh, the dam trail my unreliable hiking pole. Woo, woo, woo. This was so much fun. <laughs> it's really fun. Just watching you jump. But right now we're gonna go check a very nice cave. Okay, they are going to check a nice cave until <laughs> I man up and start swimming like everyone. What have you got going on? Apples! Oh, man, 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 man. Thank you! I got two. Oh, yeah. I, guess, I guess we're gonna go down there and go to the cave. Okay. Oh. Be careful. Be you got it, baby. Be careful. <laughs> both hands, baby. You, you yeah. better you better be using both hands on that thing. Maybe just go up instead of go down. Baby, it's like repelling. Don't don't swing out. Just walk down the wall. But use both hands. Turn the other way. Turn the other way. This is like repelling. It's just like in rock climbing stuff. Hold the rope. The rope is your friend, not the branch. I'm gonna go up. <laughs> both, both hands on the rope, baby. Both hands on the rope. There you go. And then just lower yourself down. <laughs> You're cheating. Use the rope, baby. Just like repelling. Get your feet on the wall and just go down. There you go. Hand, hands and such. Tarzan!
I'm just sitting up here in this little cave area. Wow, this is nice. I wish I had a camera. Just kind of had to hoist myself up a little bit. So you'll see actually the cave entrance down there. And I kind of had to climb up a little bit. But uh, these caves are pretty interesting. They got like, you can see behind me, there's a little bit of space up there where it looks like little critters could probably make themselves uh, cozy, you know, birds or something, I don't know. But it's pretty cool. I'm probably gonna head down over there a little bit to where the water's kind of coming up and I'll probably go hop in the water. I'm gonna the current into this area. And it looks like there's a little spot where I can sit. <laughs> All right. Oop. Let me get my fat butt up here. Awesome. So, nice little view. Okay, so time to make it up the rope here. And uh, I think I'm gonna go jump. I'm very nervous. So let's see how that goes. For those who know me, you know that my biggest weakness is swimming and deep water in general. If I can't touch the ground, I don't feel safe and I just don't do it. And it's that one thing that I don't like about myself. I don't like missing out on a lot of pleasures that has to do with swimming, diving in deep water and snorkeling. And it's been the case for as long as I can remember. But today I wanted to challenge this fear just a little bit, regardless of how I feel regardless of the outcome, and this is how it went. I'm about to do something way out of my comfort zone today. I'm like trampling in the inside. But our friend Lydia is going to jump to you. Habiba is big. Nice and out. I got you, I got you. <laughs> Baby, don't think you got this, and I got you. Just go, baby. Yeah. Baby, you got it. You got it. You got it. Come on, I'm right here. Just do it. You got it, baby. Come on. in the future how you feel. <laughs> tell you tell yourself how you feel. Oh, oh my god, so good. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? It's exhilarating. Oh, yeah. It's oh a big god. moment. You next. Let me kiss. So we're just <laughs> making our way back from the uh, from the dam. All that dam excitement. Oh, Habiba it was had. such a 
a fun experience. Tell them what you did, baby. Tell them what you did. I jumped to the water, to deep water. <laughs> no Swam. A little bit of fear. <laughs> <laughs> so it's me, Flora, and Andy here. Coming back around hmm, the halfway point of the trail, I think. We're still just cruising uphill. Habiba's leading the charge right here in front of me. And uh, for what it's worth, I think uh, Cora and Lydia are probably 100 meters ahead. We're having a blast. The views are nice. It's interesting to not see the sun shining on everything now. It's a little overcast, and we came down at sunrise just about a little bit after. And uh, this place is still beautiful. We had a blast at the trail, or at the, at the waterfall. A lot of excitement. Habiba jumped in, a lot of people. But this is a good way to get back out. This is my first surgery, or my first hike after surgery. And we're just kind of enjoying this overcast weather. The sun's not crushing us too much. It's really interesting to think that we came all the way from there and you can see the trail pretty clear. There are actually some people going down too. That was a very, very fun hike. It was a fun hike. I hope that you guys can see the views behind me, but they are beautiful, especially with the fall colors. I did not expect it to be still peaking at this time, but it's just gorgeous. I am so very happy that we made it out today. Yeah, so we are making a quick stop on the way back home to check the Tonto National Bridge. I actually never heard about it, to be honest. So our friend Lydia is introducing us to this beautiful canyon. Very excited to see the viewpoint here. So it seems like with the pandemic, they closed hiking in the canyon. That's what the rangers told us earlier. But uh, our friends here are telling us that it's a very beautiful hike and you can get underneath the, the bridge and see a mini waterfall. But just being here and enjoying this view makes us really happy. It's, it's so beautiful already. <laughs> <laughs> 